very good day. Welcome, loves. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be for the September reference. I'm splitting them up because I am so tired of just getting one negative reading all the time. So I thought, you know, a while back I'm going to split these readings up and we're going to see if there's a difference in energy. And there, there, there was. All right, so let's get for the September Libras. I think I did it for Aries too, the March and the April, and I had polar opposite energies there. So when people say, oh, they're they're an Aries or they're a Leo or they're a Cancer, they're no, it depends on what you think. That plays a big toll. All right, so let's get here for the September Libras. All right, last shuffle here for the September Librans. Oh, see, look at that. Ace of Chalices. Oh, Page of Chalices. Oofta. So, getting in tune with your emotions here, are we? Feeling good, feeling great. All right, see the difference in energy? So, let's get a little more out here for the September Librans with the Ace of Chalices. All right, beautiful things emerging in your life that are making you just happy as shit to where you could just cry. All right, happy fucking tears. It's like, I don't know, I'm getting like weird vibes. I'm also getting like a strong tide to the moon. Look at that. Wow, we have the freaking Wheel of Fortune with the Emperor. Beautiful. So I feel like you're the Emperor of your world and you're goddamn content with that. You don't need somebody to do it for you, all right? I feel like you're a very smart, intelligent being here, okay? So good things are coming in for you, and that's why you've got the Ace of Cups here. You're happy as shit. Good luck follows. The tables are turning, all right? You're entering a new phase in your life where you're just emotionally happy as shit. So good luck follows you. I swear I saw something flipped over in here. Well, we do. We have the chariot. Cancer energy here. All right. So the chariot. What the hell is going on here? We have the queen of swords here. Look at how good you're doing. All right. You're succeeding. Your drive, your ambition is what's making you sit in that emperor energy here. You're a very driven being, whether you're a masculine or a feminine. Okay. You're very intelligent. You know how to keep your mouth shut when it needs to be. Because... This person is you. This is your subconscious mind. This is your thoughts. This is, and, and you know how to shut it when it's necessary. All right. That is important in life. So you're very intelligent. All right. You have that drive, that drive for success. Beautiful. Beautiful energy here. Oh, we have the full card here with the lovers. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Look at that with the fool. All right, so you and your person are just expanding. You're growing, you're expanding. Beautiful things are coming in for you. Life is changing and accelerating at like a beautiful pace. And you're just focused on living the life you want, being you. And that makes you happy because it's working for you. You like to go on adventures. You feel free-spirited, all right? You're just kind of like a hippie type of an energy. But yet you also know how to discipline yourself and create literally that perfect balance. I feel like you and your person have a perfect balance between you guys. All right, this is a beautiful love story. All right, with the two of pentacles here. You guys are each other's better half, all right? It's that what they lack, the other has, etc. vice versa. All right, so let's see. Let's get this wrapped up. You're good. Wow, we got the four of wands. Look at you guys. Oh, look at you. Empress, you're a visionary. You see things clearly. That's why you know how to speak when, you know, to speak and when not to speak, when to shut the mouth and when not to. All right. So with the four of wands here, I feel like you guys are just celebrating. All right. I feel like you like to be in the community, be around people, celebrate things. All right, but I just see you guys are embarking on a beautiful new new journey. All right, with the love of your life, somebody that you love dearly here, somebody who could be very romantic. I'm getting a very romantic energy here. Somebody who likes to wine and dine you, take you out places. 
All right, which is wonderful. You and your gut person could be like on the same page when it comes to community, um, community things, stuff like that here. All right, things that are going on in the world. You guys have a similar approach to it. But yeah, you're with a very loving, nurturing, romantic being. They like to do nice, beautiful things for you. They like to take